And welcome back. So Super Mario Galaxy episode 12. Surfing 101. You know what? Maybe I'm just gonna do all my series at once, eh? Hmm. Yeah, it's an idea, isn't it? Right here, we surf on rays. I'm serious, we call it ray surfing. That's what we do. Hey! It's Penguin Paradise. Really? This looks like a death trap to me. Ray surfing isn't so easy, so listen to what Coach has to say. That cute little guy over there is Ray! Are you a surfer too? No way. I see. Change your mind, let me know. And then he just kills you on the spot. Oh yeah, wouldn't that be a thing? Can you actually... Of course you can. Try and collect star bits. Sure. Oh, but this is your first time ray surfing, right? Well, let me show you the ropes. Now let me explain. Point your Wiimote at the screen. Yeah, yeah, that's the basic position. I have twists left from the starting position. Correct, that's how you turn left. Always remember to have your strap on. Alright, gotta twist uh, Wiimote to the right. So you turn right. All you need to do is hold down A to speed up. Yeah, I'll give it a... Yes, you can jump. And I think we gotta race eventually. Oh. Is he... <coughs> okay, I did not sign up for this. Okay, you... Good luck. You can actually jump with the uh, nunchuck. Okay, I, I, I'm, I've started to lose it. Who tells me I'm gonna need that? Wait, can I? No, I think it's probably designed in such a way that you can't just bang your head against that. Or, as you know, not a huge fan of water. Wait, how? Well, I guess aerodynamics actually would kind of let you. Know. Hmm. And we did it. Wait, can you fall off there? One forty, one oh four, three. Congratulations, you deserve a gold medal. Yeah, so I didn't actually not hold down the A button the entire time. Well, wait, I feel like... Uh, what is this? I feel like the only way to get faster would be to actually, you know, do super tight turns. I'm the superstar! I'm gonna kick this thing all the way back to the Comet Observatory! It's a me and Mario, I guess. Oh, that was literally all it was. <coughs> Shh, I'm not checking the time at all. <coughs> wow, I think we're going to uh, complete the terrace. Well, as much of it as I can visually see. Painting the planet yellow. Hmm, I think you could misconstrue that into a very race not... Not necessarily, you know, painting the town red or whatever. Is that a thing? Like a like a murder thing, I think. And you've started the end of the world. Is 
See, as long as you're over... Oh, okay. I don't know if it's you have to hit uh, another platform. I think it is. Great. Okay, this thing... Oh. Great. Just barely. Kind of risky. Is that okay? They stop. No. Oh, now you hide. Back we go. I think that's all the stars I can get. Bowser Jr.'s Robo Reactor. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of disappointed that it's just a giant Bowser's face. Yeah, I think we did fight Mega Leg before. I we had to, especially if I was like, I'm just gonna like build two Mega Legs Moon. <clears throat> just gonna build two series, you know. I really hope I don't get kicked to my Warframe clan because of this. Also, this is kind of a weird way to record these. I'm doing this first before anything else, so... I mean, technically, the, um, these videos are going to be made, so they're going to be uploading before the other series' return, potentially. Yeah, so you gotta go these bullet bills to bullet end their life. Okay, and what are these, like, security Goombas or something like that? I know I have the guide, uh, I don't actually know if I have the guide anymore, but, well. I'm gonna see something. Okay. Yeah, if you're too close to them, then they can't lock on to you. How lucky. No, now or never. No, you don't. Doesn't even work though. Oh, <laughs> that's not supposed to be there. <clears throat> you made it. And I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go get him, uh, whatever. Mega leg, stop him with the power of your grand star. Hmm. <laughs> I got the star, but the Ben space time. That's really. Wait, is that, the, is that my Navi? Oh, yeah, by the way, this thing's awesome. Not that threatening, though. Well. And apparently, that just stops it. Juked. Don't you just turn off the gravity or whatever? Oh, well, hey, again, super dense mega lugs. Oh, that was easy. Wait, uh, am I okay? Good. Wait, hey, can't I just do this? Yeah, not that that helped me that much. Yeah, I need a... Um, cause otherwise a... Uh... Oh, are you kidding me? Huh. <coughs> I didn't even think that was possible. I didn't even do that on purpose, I'll be honest with you. 
I was just jumping over the edge so that the bullet bill wouldn't actually hit me and would just go straight to the fence, and then I would have brought another bullet bill and just brought it there too. But, you can just totally ignore the fence. Guess you could say that bullet bill wasn't on the fence with helping us then. Get a grand star. Now you know what to do. Goodbye, my friend. Hopefully your sacrifice is not in vain. Class 5 star. It took an entire... Well, I mean, I guess they are powering another observatory or something. Wow, that was it. Is it not a do it in one hit thing? Oh yeah, we get <coughs> two more um locations because we have too many stars. That ball flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. But it's a star. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. Can that be the opposite? Yeah. An observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all the powers are stored, we'll even be able to fly to the center of the universe, wherever that is. Oh, the power's on in the new dome! The fountain. The really open dome is called the fountain. It's really quite relaxing. Hey, have you looked at the map? It contains information about galaxies as well as domes. That thing didn't even appear until now, so... Forget the location of dome, that's to speak with me. You can go in. It's up here to go to the fountain. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could see it being relaxing. The Luma sacrifice for the cause. I think that's closer. Space Junk Galaxy. Pull Star Path. I'm actually enjoying myself playing a game for once. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. The chocolate diamond, the uh, yeah. Chocolate, well, emerald chip strudels. So yeah, you can do quite a few things, and you can basically slingshot. They're more of a slingshot star than sling stars are. I find how amazing the music it is in this game. Okay, good. Huh. Why are they spinning though? Great. Like, is there a specific reason why? Ooh. Oh, shoot, it's Angel! From Pikmin 2. This, this has to be a reference. Like, this is so much just like, like with the two or things, you know, they're exactly the correct, like, placement. This has to be a reference to Pikmin 2. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to. Oh yeah, so they also exist in stars. And if I, I don't think it's been mentioned. Oh, great. My Wiimote speaker is dying. I mean, I'm... No, bad. Whee! 
How far can you go, though? There's a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, thank you. We got little bouncing spiders. Out of here. I'm kind of ineffective. Oh, look who it is! Captain, how could you? What do you have to say for yourself? Da -da -da -da! Mr. Mario! As we have Captain the Toad, we get a boss, so we're ready to discover a shortcut to the bar star! Take the sing star at the top of the star shroom! Shortcut on top of the star shroom! I, I, you know what? Those are probably just actually seats. I always thought there was like a habitat unit, but I think that's like seats and control stuff. Yeah, that's, I never noticed that the camera just stops and just starts spinning with you. Oh no. This looks like a headache. Yeah, so get close to them. And that's a piece of a power star. Trapped in bubbles for some reason. Something tells me this is Kamek's work. Whoa, okay. Let's not get spaghettified or whatever. Speaking of... Well, like chow pizzas that you get... Why do I remember this? I feel like, um, like, uh... Like a chow pizza or something like that is like that. Where, you know, they have it like that, um, you know, those little slices and stuff. And they put one piece of pepperoni. Like Red Robin, I think? From like 10 years ago? And it's all the way at the back. Better not fall off now. But yeah, isn't there a um, speed trial for this? It's not that bad, I guess, but I think it's not gonna be good. Camilla's airship attack. Speaking of, I could be trying to attack the camera. Wait, why do we have something like multiple star shrooms? Is this like a war now? See the moment and scared. Hmm. Does he have his own game? I'm not. Is there? 
Yeah. There's a guy stuck in there. Okay, good. But why is it just like ships? Like, I understand it's starships, but this is a bit on the nose, isn't it? Jump and spin! Or oh, you can just do this! It's much safer! To get stuff that's too high to reach, jump in and spin! <laughs> yeah. So useful. They fit an entire sling star in there. Off you go, my friend. Off you go. I mean, so as you can... Oh, there's Kamek. Yeah, this is for punting me off the ship. Yeah, for some reason, some enemies... Uh, can't you... Yeah, you can knock these out. Yeah. We beat, um, Bowser's right-hand man, turtle, whatever. I still do not believe that Bowser's a turtle. Hit the treasure ship to the shell, and then, pa, pow! Yeah, shell, shake, we want to do it! Everyone knows that! You know, maybe this is why Bowser fights us, is because we treat his minions like this. So that is an amazing amount of sweat that it does. Hmm. Off with you. That's what, like, um, the amount of sweat Mario seems to reduce when he's carrying one of those. Like, look how big the globules are. Now that really matters. There's a pull star here for some reason? And dead. Whoa! Got a fleet of star bits! I feel like when it's running over a bunch of... Like, couldn't I just do this? Yes. Toro Toad? Tutorial? If a shell is just a reach, you can still spin to pick it up! Look at this. So living Koopa in there. I think this targets well. Wow. Not well enough. <clears throat> Stupid octopus is blocking my way. Rescue shells will take care of that little problem. Wow. Oh yeah, by the way, the game is trying to train us. Oh. <laughs> Coconut versus Shell. Shell wins. What a fabulous starship. <coughs> is this the first appearance of whatever her name is? Eh, that's probably coins. Fireballs. And for whatever reason, she reduces magic 
that produces uh, shells. Oh yeah, she has a star pod. Whatever. And yeah, it blasts into ooh, dear, into coconuts actually. Maybe stop doing that. Or I don't know, just move your ship into deep space. Wow. Oh. Okay. I gonna bounce back. There we go. Right in the beak or whatever. And then it, the gold even just disappears. I never actually found out what, oh, what's in that question mark block. I, I guess it's a mystery. Hence the question. Okay, what else? What do I do wrong now, Rosalina? Oh, is this comment? No. Yes, yes it is. <coughs> it seems that a prankster comment has appeared somewhere. Somewhere. It, it, it seems that a prankster com prankster, yes, comment has appeared somewhere. Find out what she's talking about next time though, so. Enjoy this video? No, wait a second. It gives me a would you like to save? Thanks to comments have very strange effects on galaxies. Wanna learn more about these curious comments? Ask the Luma who knows about such things. Cause I sure as hell don't. What, do I look like I should know things? I'm the person who runs all this game. Right, that's gonna be for this episode though, so if you enjoy this video and what see ya.